really good opportunity for us to get to, to a cup final. It's Young on the seconds. Driving, he's going for goal again. Nathan Smith who gets the ball into a really good area. Misha Jamiley. It's a beautiful ball and it's across the box into Teddy Ola. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. Hey guys, welcome back to another Hashtag United YouTube video. We are in action tonight up against Harry and Gaybarra, our old landlords of course, but it's not Isthmian League action, it's Velocity Cup semi-final action. Lewis, a chance for some silverware this year. Yeah, listen, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, Harry and Gaybarra in our league, they're currently in the relegation battle. Uh, we did beat them, Boxing Day. We did, 4 -1. And then also, they did knock us out of this competition in 2022 on penalties, but it also took penalties to get here as well. It I'm did. just sick of pens, mate. Pens, I can't do it. My heart can't take it. And it's a chance, of course, tonight to get into a final. And talking of finals, let's talk about our fantastic Hashtag United women who are in the FAWNL League Cup final up against Newcastle United and Lewis. It's a Kenilworth Road, Luton Town, Premier League, Luton Town's wow. Kenilworth Road. Okay. Phenomenal, excited. Saturday, the 23rd of March, get yourselves down there. Ticket links will be in the description. Okay, let's talk about tonight then and look at the lineup that Devs is sending out to play Haringey. Josh Drizovic, as always, starts in goal and with Jermaine Anderson, ineligible for tonight's fixture, having played previously for another club in this competition. Matty Waldridge slots back in his familiar right-back position. That means that Tom Anderson, Harry Hayson and Nathan Smith complete the back line with Max Cornhill, skipper tonight, of course, uh, joining PK Humble and Misha Jamali in the middle. With Pedro Carvalho, Saka and Luke May Parrott completing the starting 11. Leaving on the bench, Toby Roma Laren, Camillo Restrepo, Sam Cornish, Alex Taniola, and Greg Halford up the tax. This is a really good opportunity for us to get to, to a cup final. Forget about their league position. I know I say this to you all the time, but if you look at their recent, they come to us in, in good form. And even the games they've lost building up to that, they're a team improving. They're a team that look like they're ready to fight and fight for their lives for their league position. And they'll see tonight as a, as a, as a free hit. There'll be like pressure off of them tonight because they haven't got to worry about, you know, the pressure of getting points on the ball. So they'll just, I expect us to have a real go. That said, if we're at our best, we will win the game. No doubt about it. If we're at our best, we will win the game. I'll tell you what, if we start how we started Saturday, that'd be a good start. That, that, that pace and, and power to our play and moving the ball quickly and we can get at them in wide areas. That I know, whatever they play, we'll be able to get them in wide areas. But other than that, I just want you to go and run yourselves into the ground trying to get us to a cup final. Joe, let's go, come on. And we're about to get underway with PK here in the semi-final of this Velocity Cup. Can we make it through to the first ever Hashtag United Men's final? Luke Mayparra venturing into the box now. Finds Pedro. He's got PK with him on the edge. Takes a touch. We know what he's like in and around these areas. Very dangerous. Sets it instead though to Matty. Pedro in a crossing position. Fires it across. The defender that gets a touch and the spin away from Luke, but still alive. Pedro on his left, but it's good defending. Oh, Max has done really well to get a tackle in, but cleared away. And now Haringey have a chance to come forward with it. Over to Tomo who has also great range of passing, as you're going to see here. There Sending you go. It over to his centre-back partnership of Harry Haysom. Perfect timing, that, Lou. As Harry drives in, and this is another aspect of his game we've seen a bit. A lovely pass to Pedro, who can go with right or left. Goes with left, and it's just past the post, loop. Honestly, that was so beautiful to see. To see Harry kind of having this part about him as a centre-back, venturing into their half, into their kind of... He loves of, to do it. Loves exactly. To do it. Plays the ball through and... We love seeing Pedro drop his shoulder and get the shot away on his left or on his right. You just don't know what way it's going to go. That's the trouble as a defender. You, you, Pedro Carvalho is such a, such a talent on either foot. No, like the versatility to either put it onto your left or onto your right to take a shot away is, is dangerous. Because as a defender, you don't really, you, you kind of got to gamble at the end of the day yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you do have to do guess. You? Yeah, yeah. And that's a really good header though from Harry Hayson. That looked like an arm. It definitely hit the arm, whether it was intentional or not. The referee says no. Nothing doing, but that one will be one for the replays, I'm sure. Meanwhile, we've gone short, and it's Pico who's going to have a go, and that is not very handsome. The fourth home game in four days. Obviously, the other three, uh, myself, Stamp, Celis, Devra, and, and co winning. The boys on Saturday winning as well, and the women yesterday. So let's hope we can make this a fourth one, as that ball almost finds its way through to Luke. Great feet from Pedro Carvalho. Slips Luke in behind. He's offside. 
And it would have been the hashtag 1-0 if he'd have stayed on side, Lou. Yeah, that's really disappointing, but great football and a great opportunity for the tags. Ah! This is why like, I've always kind of grown up loving non-league and my dad as well. You come here, if you bring a younger person here that's trying to become a player, there's, you can actually learn a lot by what you're hearing on the pitch. Like the kind of energy around the ground, like what kind of pace needs to be played at. Because if you go to a Prem or a Championship or League One, League Two, the pace that they play is like crazy, right? Yeah. If you're young, come to a game like this, you will learn so much. I think people as well, they just expect because it's the seventh tier or whatever. It's not going to be great. Sack finds Nathan, who can cross this one in. It's into a good area, and there is Max Cornhill, of all people. Only scored the one goal this season and almost made it two, but for a good save and anywhere but there, really, Lou, if it wasn't straight down the keeper's throat. Yeah, it's one of them ones where the ball was literally put on a plate for him. Oh, he's f***ing in. Either side of the keeper, there's no way he's saving it, I don't think. No, from that distance, it's a tough one. It's, that's a really incisive pass from Pedro with his left. And Harry Hayson has a lot of room to run into now. And he does gonna, he's going to have a go. It's not a bad effort. Luke's there. Oh, he's missed the target. With the flag is up to save his blushes, Lou. He's offside. What a chance that was. Matthew Long looking the bright spark in this Harringay side. Plays it out wide to Alfonso Kennedy. Jinkian and Jinkian. That pass is an ambitious one, but to be fair, he's done well to get there. Can't do anything but find Matty Waldridge, though, but it's worked well to get it in to the edge of the box. Oh, my, that was a big chance for Mohamed Kadem there in absolutely acres of space. Just got it all wrong. I think Mohamed Kadem would be very disappointed with his opportunity there. He probably could argue he had a bit of time to even take a touch. There are goals in this one, certainly yeah. a team that have been struggling this season, but I will say they've been picking it up a little bit of late. So they're a team oh. probably in the late that have been picking it up. As that shot comes in, oh my word, it's been deflected. A half chance really, the shot from the edge of the box and it's deflected. It is that man, the number 10 that we've picked up on. Matthew Young operating that pocket of space, the real half space. Gets it on the turn and fires a shot in deflection and it beats Striz all ends up, Lou. Again, it feels like a goal from nothing. I think Tomo with disappointment, he didn't get quite the strongest foot on it to make that block, but... I think we've not taken our chances. And again, like I've said, we've been punished. It's a shame, but there's no reason why we can't come back into this game. We've just got to stay positive, get back out there and put a goal away. Misha Jamaili to take this corner. Swings it into a decent area, but it's headed away. Pedro Carvalho underneath it. Does well. Both holding each other. And it's Haringey that come out with it. And this is defending for Matty to do. I think he's not going to get there first, but he does get to the ball crucially to prevent it going through to the goal scorer of the first, Lou. Hey! We've got to react! Patient possession at the moment, Lou. Just keeping the ball, easing our way back into this one. I think it's important when you do lose a goal. Oh, that's a really nice ball over the top for from Harry Hayson, from Mish. He finds Luke who goes down pen. in the box. Very, very half-hearted appeals. I think Luke was the only one that wanted a pen there. No one else seemed to talk about it. I thought there was more of a case to be had. Sends it back to Tomo. Of course, we are missing uh, just the one change from Saturday. Jermaine Anderson ineligible for this one. Harry Hayson looks for the other fullback in Nathan Smith, who gets the ball into a really good area. Misha Jamaili oh, has the over. shot. It's hit the crossbar, and it looked from our angle, albeit we're a long way away, that it crossed the line. But has it gone over the line, Lou? Apparently not. Apparently not according to the officials. I can't believe it, honestly. And we've got some defending to do as well up the other end. Haringey still with the ball. Look potentially offside, but nothing doing. And now Hashtag can come away. What a chance. The ball in from Smudger was pitch perfect. And the shot from Misha Jamali off the crossbar. Bouncing down, but it's a big question. You guys will see the replay. Was it over the line? Again, we've seen another opportunity of Harry Hayson hitting that space. Oh, chance now for Matt Young, the goal scorer, and that's another let off. Finding those pockets at the edge of the box, completely unmarked. Sakasan gets the loose ball then, turns back inside. He's got Nathan Smith with him, and I think he's fouled, and this yeah. is a very good area. Sakasan whips it in, it's low and headed away. You've got to beat the first man there, Sak. It's come out to PK. And flicks it in to Harry Hayson, he's offside. Oh. What a ball that was from PK. H is the man on that left foot as well. Him or Misha, the left-footed players in the team that you want it to fall to. 
swings the left peg out. It did get the uh, did get the red timed finish there, but it went straight across to Misha Jamali over the bar on that occasion. But offside is the important thing. Really lovely pick out from PK Lolo. Yeah, that one looked close to me, but again, benefit the replay is is a lovely thing. Oh, that toe poke is pretty key from Melvin Lambert. And here is Kennedy into the box. Cuts it back to Melvin Lambert. But again, it's Harry Haysom in the way. Danger not averted. And it comes to Young. Again, Harry Haysom having a game and a half here, Lou, isn't he? Honestly, Harry Haysom already putting in a bit of a player of the match performance. Upsetting that we haven't been given the goal, but it's, in, it's cool for us to actually have the pleasure of the replays. Because if this was uh, not on 3G, we wouldn't have seen all the, the black the turf rubber bit. Up, the turf yeah, yeah. up. Oh, Harry Haysom again, mate. What is going on with him this evening? What a pass. Pedro into the box. Goes on his left. Cuts inside onto the right and has a go. Good save. It's something that we've spoken about already. Pedro, you don't know if he's going on his left. You don't know if he's going on his right. But credit to him. He's put it on target and it's a great save from the keeper. Yeah, Dylan Barnes. Shout out him for that phenomenal save there, actually, on second. Look at that. That's a very, very handy save down to his right. But it does mean we have a corner here. Again, Sakurai Hassan, the Somali starboy, to take. One arm up, and in it goes. Into a dangerous area towards Tom Anderson at the back sticks. Headed away by the Haringey defender. Okay, it looked like a free to, to me, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, won't we, I guess, in the, in the coming seconds. <laughs> Max Cornhill wins that header. But it's Young on the seconds. Driving, he's going for goal again. Oh, my word, that was some strike. Still alive for Haringey. Kennedy in the box here. Lost it into a decent area, but it's cleared away by Harry Hayson yet again. The header there goes into an area. Matty will send that into the sh next Ed. week. But Lewis Preston, what that a strike, strike mate, was Tony-esque, wasn't it, from the weekend? What an effort. It was almost like one of them ones. The second it come off his boot, it was flat. I don't think Struz even moved for it. He didn't. Absolutely oh stuck in the God. mud. Like an absolute rocket ship as soon as it left his foot. I think I said uh, Tony-esque, but... It was more like McAllister's goal of the month last month. Some strike. Just holding it in the corner. It's out of play for a throw-in. And I think that'll be the half-time whistle. It is, Lewis. More work to do in the second half. Let's hear what Debs has to say to the boys. Don't get desperate. There's no... Like, we, it feels like we've got desperate to the point where we're still attacking... We're still trying to attack when we haven't got secure possession and they can just break on us. And as they're breaking us, we're still thinking, oh, we're going to swing this one in from, from impossible angles. Get secure ball, regroup, and you haven't got to get desperate. Information's absolutely vital on our passes as well. I've seen there's one near us where you, without saying anything, almost take it off Amisha's foot and you get in each other's way. There's a one where you go in, in there and you don't say anything. There's a one they score from where it's all that there's no information, no information. And it's just, we've got to get better with it all over. There's got to be better information on our passes. Can we get, be on the half, back foot turn out? But we just play. We just play and say nothing, or we just wait and say nothing. There is no reason to get desperate. We can't get to the point where we just are chucking things forward with aimlessly, without fault, where they can then just spring on us. Because if they get a second goal, then it does become. We just keep at it, keep moving the ball, and be ruthless when we get in there. Because as Joe said, we've had chances. We've had chances. No problem with the way it's going forward. Our problem is with our reaction times and our organisation getting back in. Just lift it, lift it, lift the quality a little bit more, it will come. We get one, we get the next one, we'll go and, we'll go and win the game. All right? But it's important we f stick at it and stay together with it. And we're back playing for the second half of this Velocity Cup semi-final. Nathan Smith just about keeps possession. H into Luke May Parrot, good defending. And again now, Leacock McLeod who switches it, the substitute to Kennedy, who's looked pretty lively for the visitors. Turns nicely. Misha's found himself in the right back position. Can't get there. Turn from the number nine. Melvin Lambert. But his pass is not a good one. It's cut out. Pedro. Possession inside the hashtag half. And he's looking inside. Fantastic defending yet again from Harry Haysom to read that pass. Get bored of saying it this evening, didn't we, Luke? Some player. But that pass there is not a good one. And hashtag are going to have to go hunting for possession again. Not the vintage hashtag that we have seen at times this season. And more of recently as Leacock McLeod gets a shot off and it's tipped by 
Josh Drizovic, is it? No, no touch. Judd's to have got there by the uh, official. And I thought Josh Driz had made a decent save there. Yeah, personally, it looked like he got a hand to it. So credit to Striz anyway. But he's done well to get the shot away from a, I, I mean, quite an ambitious area. The arm goes up and the ball goes into that near post. It's a really good area, but no one attacking the space. And it's cleared away. Oh, offside. He's so far offside there, Kennedy. A flag goes up, but the referee plays on. And Striz can get the attack moving, can he? No, it's not a good pass at all. And this is a real danger here. It's passed across to Kennedy. One of the danger men gets it onto his right. Back to the man over on the far side. No flag up. He's on side, but the shot is blocked well. Striz. PK making that, oh, sorry, Sack making that third man run and PK in yeah. the pocket. Turn. Finds Pedro, who's also got a pocket of his own on the left foot. Takes a touch, cuts to Nathan Smith, who dinks it into a really good area. Misha was almost underneath it. Still not away for Sakurai San. Shots deflected, and again, another hashtag corner. A bit of a shout off at each other. Frustrations beginning to boil over. Let's hope that it doesn't boil over too much as we see Toby's first interaction. Direct play and finds the other substitute, Camillo. Looks to turn. Dangerous feet, still going. Gets a touch from Luke May Parrot, who looked like he might have been fouled from behind. Nothing doing. And now Harry Hayson or Striz have to be careful. Striz is the man off his line and wins that there. Toby with a flick on, but potential penalty there, Lou. I mean, you could definitely argue that that was a penalty. I mean, it almost got a bit confusing because there were two players coming together. So your eyes were either on either of them so it's quite hard to say but there were more appeals for that one that it was a pen than, than it wasn't yeah meanwhile though Haringey back again in the attack as Kennedy on that far side gets the ball on the edge of the box with plenty of space he goes for goal and it's a really poor effort with the amount of space he was afforded looking to play that ball over the top for Luke May Parrott he wins the right. flick it's a really lovely flick for Camilo Restrepo tries to work it over to Pedro Carvalho the top pass does find its mark and Nathan Smith, the marauding left-back, finds the ball into the box. And it's a perfect pick-out for Max Cornhill, who last season became renowned for chances like that and converting them. But on this occasion, he just gets it wrong. Ed, that's fantastic build-up play. A great ball into the box. And there's actually no one else on that pitch I'd rather head of that ball than Max Cornhill. But it's a great sign of what hopefully is to come for the rest of this game. I we can get that equaliser. That's the one. Oh, Max, Max, Max. <laughs> So there is late goals in us. Striz with another sidewinder. Distribution has been very good tonight. And Toby wins that flick on as he often does. Luke May Parrott finds Toby again. But there's no one in the box. It's a really good area. Pedro not there. It's cleared away but not completely. And Piquet's underneath it. He's got no challenge. Opts to find Camilo Restrepo. Picks it down. And has Matty with him. Instead goes alone. Cuts back inside and then jinx one way and jinx another. Does eventually go to Matty. Bounces it. Hashtag applying the pressure in the Haringey Borough defensive third. Matty back to PK, just keeping possession between them at the moment. PK goes inside to Max Cornhill. Really nice tiki taka stuff. Camillo goes for the shot, it's blocked away. And Haringey, if we're not careful, have a break on. Really good play from Camillo Restrepo, the substitute, showing that he's not just fancy footwork and tricks. Pedro inside to PK, keeps possession well and finds Camillo Restrepo. Driving, he's got space to drive. Looks inside to PK Humble. Not the best of touches, and this one's gone all the way through though. On um, Pedro's offside. Is that, right Is that the right player though? I'm not sure. Pedro was saying it wasn't him. I'm not sure. Kicked away there by Ref, Melvin Lambert, and that is the easiest what yellow card donut. you'll find. We we spoke about it earlier on, but that one you can't hide from. No. Very simple yellow card, Sunshine. It's bizarre. It does, does make me wonder as Tomo looks to find Luke in the channels. And Luke's got scintillating pace and does hook it in <gasps> towards Matty Waldridge. Handball ball shouts He's and that it. is a penalty yes. in the 76th minute here. A chance and a lifeline for Hashtag to get back in this game. But the question is, who is going to take it, Lou? I don't know. I really don't no know. No Greg Halvin on the pitch. PK has the ball. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if PK took the penalty. He has scored penalties for hashtag before. In dire circumstances, we played Wroxham. It's probably the most important uh, contribution PK's made. The two goals against uh, Wroxham, one of which was a penalty. And now, late on in this semi-final, we have a very big chance of penalty to potentially 
get back into this game. Got to be sending off, isn't it? Back to the goal. Whistle goes. PK turns. Runs up to the ball and converts it. Hashtag United. One. One. We are back in this game. PK humble with the antics as always in the celebrations. Very funny to see. But the most important thing, keep your heads, people. It's one all. We still have a job to do. We do. And we said before, we don't want more penalties. I know we got into this on penalties, but we can't, can't take, take any, any more of those penalties. And massive shout out to PK Humble for putting it home. One all. Game on. Game well and truly on. PK Humble. PK Humble. From the 170. What a guy. I did say 3-1, by the way, earlier. Hey, listen, listen. We're one back in. There's plenty of time. Can we get another one or two, Lou? You could be right on. The corner then whipped in deep towards the back stick. Harry Hasem not able to defend it. It's still alive. And that is onside and a huge chance for Mackay Leacock McLeod, the substitute, missing from very, very close range indeed with the flick. And here comes the corner taker, Durajaye here. Gets a really good cross in towards the back stick, but the chance from the number nine, Melvin Lambert, goes a begging. Absolutely skies it into next week, Lou. I think he's got to be super frustrated he hasn't put that on target, but what a deep David Beckham-esque ball to the back post. Good header. Header one, well. Still not away, though. Sammy Cornish has done brilliantly well there. Great, isn't it? Great feet. Never. No foul, never. though. And this Play is a dangerous chance. Sammy Cornish it. with the ball to Luke May Parrott. It's a really good touch. And he's still driving into the box here. He's got a defender in front of him. He's got options in the box, but he may have to work to create a bit of space. Finds Sammy Cornish. It's not the best of passes, but he's dealt with it well. Finds Nathan Smith. This is patient build-up now. Held well in an attacking position. Sam Cornish looking for the... Switch over to Toby Romelaren. It's a beautiful ball and it's across the box into Teddy Ola. Oh my word, what a oh. stop. What a double save. I can't save believe it. From the goalkeeper. He's checking, he's both checking players them both. are down. Yeah, the referee has to stop play. But Lou, drama almost it, at the end. It was Teddy Ola time and we were tapping our wrists. I can't believe it. What was so beautiful about that is the substitute came on. Sammy Cornish. I could see Toby pointing for the ball. He wanted it. He got it. Headed it back across the goal. 80 with the header, but what a bloody save. A double save. I, a double save. I because can't believe it. I, and and I'll be the first to say if a player could potentially have done better. But I honestly, I'll see it again with a replay. If we, can, we, can we get a replay, James, do we think? Oh, they've seen it. Yeah, can we see, can we see it again? Because I didn't. Whilst there's a small break oh, in play for the goalkeeper. The keeper's been brilliant. I think it's a phenomenal double yeah. save. Yeah. 80, well done. Even the second one. Yeah, yeah. So great header. Unbelievable save, double save, isn't it? Not had an awful lot to do himself tonight, to be fair. We've spoken about how that Haringey have had the, their share of chances, but I don't think Stris has been worked too much as that one goes to 80 and wins the flick on. Toby doesn't know. Oh, done advantage. enough. Play on, advantage. And Luke May Parrott! Yes! yes! He's walking here! Yes! He's on Lewis Preston, 89th minute winner, potentially. From the Parrots. We love to see it and we love Parrots. And what a contention from AT to at least get us up there. And honestly, I am so happy that he's put that away because the keeper's been ever so good tonight, but he's put it into the corner where he can't get to and he's done the job. Luke May Parrot, we're squawking again, people. He loves a goal and he's bagged another one here late on, much like he did against Averley in the quarterfinal of the Essex Cup. Late, late drama. He may just have done the same thing here and won it to get Hashtag United into a cup final, Lewis. This is what we do at the tags. We had a goal that wasn't given, all right? Their keepers made some unbelievable saves. And the changes that Devs has made have been brilliant. Finished, that is, by the way. Let's see this out, boys. Doesn't deserve to be on the losing side, but again, don't really care. As Lee Cock McLeod comes down, he's got a lot of pace about him. Oh, Sammy Cornish, that is Sam take Cornish. yourself a bow. That effort is exactly why you've been brought onto the pitch late it. on in this one. Phenomenal legs. It. Hey, listen, BPM of like 904 Honestly. right now. <laughs> Someone call a BPM away. <laughs> AT's done really well, wins the head. 
Camillo also winning the head, as does Sam Cornish. Head tennis at the moment. PK sends it upwards as well. And it's Tomo underneath it, importantly. Sets it back to Tomo. Send it into next week. That's but a it's a, area, a ball to chase for Luke May Parrot here. And he's got such speed. And Kafour is a little bit rash. Will we see him try and nick the ball back? Maybe fouling, but Luke's done really well on the sensible thing just to give it to Sammy Cornish. Cuts inside and a bit of space and just goes over to the other side. He finds Toby who's looking to roll his man. Can he make it three? Pokes it, but the goalkeeper's done really well yet again. Out of play inside the Harringay defensive half. Time surely whistle, running out now for the visitors. Our former land Ref. landlords defending to do. Still, oh, no. Fashtag. Oh, no. Shot comes in. Striz makes a good save. Palms it out and it is out of corner. And Harringay will have another chance here. The whistle's not going to go yet to send this one in. Leacock McLeod takes it short to Durajaye. Back to Leacock McLeod. He's looking to cut inside. Does go down the right. Nathan Smith does just about enough. And now Hashtag can potentially break. The pass it, just no? not quite for Luke there. We saw it as four. four. It was well, four. we've had. It's been like six months. 97th minute. And that's the full-time whistle. Hashtag United are into the Velocity Cup final. What a performance in the end. We started the game 1-0 down, but we'd love a comeback. 2-1. Full time, the Parrots with the crucial goal to help us squawk. Lewis Preston has joined me on CoComs, your player of the match, your UFL player of the match award for tonight's game. I think it's really tough. I mean, before Haysom come off, I probably would have said Haysom. I think he had such a great first half in second half. He created opportunities from centre back, defended really well, we started to play in a few crucial passes forward. But for me, I'm probably going to go with the Parrot. You're going to go with squawking think, again, people. He was going up against some really big centre-halves tonight. I think he held it up really well when he got the all-crucial uh, goal. So, Luke May Parrott earning your player of the match, UFL player of the match for tonight's winning goal, the all-important goal to send us through to the final. Uh, and that's our first final as a club. You love to see it. Absolute scenes. Late, late drama, as always. That's what we do here at Hashtag United. Thanks very much for joining us, people. And we'll see you in the next one.